Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So it's been a while since I looked at the Steam Workshop in a video like this one. I used to do it quite a lot and you guys seem to quite enjoy it as well. And the video I made about, I, I don't even know, it was like June last year or something like that. Suddenly out of nowhere started doing really, really well, getting loads of views. So I thought this would be a good time to revisit this whole video and look at some more amazing workshop taunts. I just want to say again a massive thank you to you guys for helping me hit 65,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's been insane to see the support recently and how much you guys have been enjoying the new videos. So I just want to say if you do go on to enjoy this video and you aren't subscribed, maybe consider clicking the button. Obviously, as you all know, over 70% of you guys haven't clicked it. So you may as well. And maybe we can hit 70, maybe even 75k really, really soon. Thank you. Anyway, let's get into the taunts. So the first one is called the Pyromancer's Performance. It is a really cool fire show type thing for the pyro where he swings a stick around that's on fire, does a few tricks with it, moves it around a bit, and it honestly looks so, so cool. The lighting on the pyro as well looks dope. And as a whole, I really, really like this taunt. It looks amazing. I haven't actually seen anything like this in terms of TF2 taunts really ever. So having a taunt like this one in the game would be incredible. Seriously, to whoever made this, obviously check out the workshop links in the description. Whoever made this is just a genius. It just looks so cool. Next up, we have the Show Off's Finger Guns, which is a taunt where the scout does a small knee slide and obviously does finger guns, as the name would imply. This taunt is made really well and actually perfectly captures the scout's character. Like the whole fact that the scout is known to be cocky, he would probably do finger guns in real life as well, to be fair. He also probably thinks doing finger guns like that is really cool and makes him a cool person. But in real life, if you did that, I, th I think somebody might slap you. Or maybe not slap you, but just like give you a weird look or something. I genuinely think that if this taunt was in the game, that would be the one that annoys people the most. When a scout dressed in all lime green comes out of nowhere, does maybe nine damage with a pistol or nine damage with a meat shot because they've missed like that. That taunt would be the one that infuriates people right down to the core. And that is exactly, I think, what taunts should be doing in TF2 and what they're actually used for. Obviously, the dancers and stuff are cool. I like them a lot. But, like, the taunts to annoy people, I need to see more of them. The next taunt I wanted to talk about is the Texas trucking. The exact opposite of the taunt I've basically just talked about. I think this one might actually be one of the coolest taunts I've seen in a really, really long time. And it is a mini tractor that the NG can ride. This is absolutely perfect. I absolutely need this thing in the game. I mean, the little bumper cart thing is alright, but it's not going to quite compare to the fact that the NG could have a tractor to drive instead. I feel like every class should have like a little vehicle that they can drive around in. The scout has the scooter in the game already, the soldier has a tank already, so why not add more stuff for the classes to drive? It looks really well made, looks smooth, and fits the whole style of TF2 really well. At least I think so. The map that it was demonstrated on was Harvest. I love Harvest. It looks cool on Harvest. You should add it in, please. The fourth taunt I wanted to show you guys is the Drunken Sailor taunt. This is a looping taunt where the demo man takes a huge drink from his bottle and then has a pirate ship wheel which he steers lightly. And it also has like a few little other actions he does while it loops. Those little actions actually make the taunt look so much better than him just standing there moving the wheel slightly. Like he spins the wheel completely and it just adds quite a lot to the taunt instead of it just being a little looping one. Either way, the taunt is made really, really well and it goes with the demo really well as well. Oh god, I said well way too many times. <laughs> it doesn't even sound like a real word anymore. Anyway, this suits the demo perfectly since he has all of those pirate cosmetics in the game. The amount of times I've said pyro while trying to record this video is ridiculous. I definitely want to see this taunt in the game as well. And the final taunt we have in this video is the nope taunt. If you don't know what this taunt is from, then honestly, I I'm not sure we could be friends. This is probably the most recognizable image in the whole of TF2. Even people who don't know TF2 know this image. And now it's in a taunt. I'm not sure what else you want me to say, but, you know, 10 out of 10, add it to the game, please. We, we need it for the culture. Thank you. Saying thank you like anyone at Valve is actually listening and is in this process of adding this in right now. I, like, I wish, dude. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed it. 
If you did, please make sure you leave this video a like and check out all of the links to all of these taunts in the description down below. And then once you've done that, subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I would love to try and hit 70k at some point soon. Maybe early next month if we keep up the momentum we have right now. That would just be insane. Again, we've never had a month like this on my YouTube channel ever. So thank you. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.